Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Cravers. The time has come for me to talk about the AYN Odin Pro and some PS2 emulation performance. I am of course using the Aether SX2 Early Access emulator which is found on the Google Play Store for free. PlayStation 2 games are hard to emulate and many systems struggle to give them justice. However, I have found some settings which I think work on most of my games and I thought I would share them with you now. And it's also important for you to know that even if you choose to apply my settings to your games, you might still need to tweak a few th settings for each and every game that you play. It all comes down to how picky you are. But let's get to it. So the first thing I always want to do when I play PS2 is change from normal to high performance mode in the AYN Odin Pro settings as this will help you squeeze that extra juice out of the CPU. Next we need to map our controller and it's actually very convenient. You just go to controller settings and port 1 and then you choose automatic mapping and the Odin Pro controller should be there so just click it. And you need to do one more thing because it won't map it entirely correct. So scroll down and here you'll see circle and you need to change that to the correct button because for some reason it doesn't do it correctly. And it's only circle and cross you need to change. And then we're ready to go. So to access the settings you just swipe from the left and this I icon is where you want to change stuff because under the cogwheel you change settings for the whole emulator but you want to change them for each game. So under system settings this is what you want to have. I'm gonna link the whole settings right here in the video and of course also in the video description. The EE cycle rate underclocking and EE cycle skip underclocking needs to be manually set for each game and you might need to swap them out a few times before you get a setting that you prefer. And when you have set all those settings, we're ready to try out a few games. And this is the rainy start of Metal Gear Solid 2, and it's considered to be one of the hardest parts from the PS2 generation to emulate, but if you ask me, it's actually very playable. Please let me know what you think in a comment down below. Now for Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater I have actually lowered the native resolution to 1x uh, and that's simply because this game seems to be even harder to emulate than MGS2 but it actually doesn't bother me too much if anything it makes the game feel more like the original. Huh? Huh? 
Who's there? Fight! 
So that's been it guys, to summarize the AYN Odin is an absolute beast and arguably the best bang for the buck handheld that you can get as of today. The Aether SX2 emulator is amazing considering it's just an early access app and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and why don't you leave a comment on what you want to see next. Also consider subscribing to my channel while you're at it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.